I'm shaking. Because I just took a pregnancy test. And I'm so nervous. I'm shaking. Look at my nails. But that's that's not that's not why we're here. <clears throat> but I just took a pregnancy test and uh, I just feel like I am. I'm sure it's been three minutes. Anytime I flip it over. Boo! I'm in the room. Come the other way. I'm nervous. Like I'm shaking. I, I couldn't do it by myself. I want you to look. But no, I'm scared. You want to look together? In case I am. It's for documentary purposes. You're not. You don't have to be in it. It's been three minutes. This is wild. I have to cry. Mm -hmm. It's scary. Mm -hmm. You already saw it? No. Let me look too. Let me look too. Come here. Mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm talking. What you mean? You're gonna charge your phone? That's what you're worried about right now? It's extremely crazy. Oh my, I'm shaking. There's a baby in here. <laughs> I can't move right now. Give me a hug. This is wild. I gotta, I'm gonna pass out. This is. I bought like scratch offs for like, so our parents can like scratch it off, but I can't wait. I have to call my mom. You have to tell your parents. So the first thing that forms is the gestational sac. Yeah. The, the next thing that forms is the yolk sac, and then the embryo forms after that. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I'm not seeing. When did you say you tested positive? June what? Seventh. Seven. And then I came here. <laughs> okay. So June seventh was that like three weeks ago? Yeah. Okay. So let me do this. Let me just tell the nurse what we see so far. Okay. So she can let Doc know. Okay. And then they can decide. Um, we should probably give you a call and okay. say after she correlates everything yeah. to see when you should come back for a follow up. Okay. okay. Hey guys, okay, so I look crazy, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but um, okay, so yesterday I had my ultrasound appointment and basically like they saw the gestational sac and then the yolk sac. So how it is, it's the gestational sac and then it's the yolk sac inside of that. And then inside of the yolk sac is the baby, but they were just showing the gestational sac and the yolk sac so immediately the um lady doing my sonogram she because i'm over here thinking i'm like eight weeks seven eight weeks based on like my last period but the sonogram is showing that like i would be like 
like I'm way earlier than that. And so, um, like I didn't see the baby or anything, just saw the yolk sac. Um, but she did say like everything was intact. There was like no bleeding or anything, which is good. So my doctor wants me to come back in two weeks to check, you know, like the progress to see, you know, if it'll be an ongoing pregnancy or not. And like, it's just so scary. And like, I just want it to be okay. <laughs> But I'm trying to keep, like, calm. <laughs> I want this baby so bad. <sighs> so I have to wait. I have to wait two weeks. Um. Oh, my gosh. Like, you know, patience. Like, this is teaching me a lot. And I'm like, you know. Like, yesterday was rough, but I was able to, like, calm down and, like, you know what, maybe I am just really early. And, like, I was looking up a lot of, like, videos and, like, researching and, like, it is common and, like, typically, like, based off of, like, what we saw in the ultrasound, like, I would be, like, five weeks or so, which means I would be, I'm way off on my dates or something, but, yeah, I'm just, I just feel like, with all, like, the signs and, like, the messages and, like, the dreams and everything, like, I just know it has to be fine. I've just, like, already, like, grown to love this little baby so much. And, like, I just want the baby to be okay. And, like, I would just want everything to go well stay calm and like not stress out and just you know it's out of my hands at this point like only god knows and he also knows how much like this means to me and like my family everyone's excited and just like want everything to be fine so like if you see this video <laughs> you know it's fine and like I'm excited about that. Hi guys. Okay. So today is the evening before my appointment for my ultrasound. And uh, I've been fine. Like I've been so good. It's like the closer the days we're getting, like the more like I was getting. And I'm just like. I just want to see a little baby tomorrow on the screen. In a heartbeat, like. But yes, guys, so. Woo! In less than 24 hours, it's happening. It is happening. But okay. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Hi. Love you. Hey, guys. Okay, so I'm back home. I have my doctor's appointment. I sweated my edges out, like. Okay, so I had the ultrasound. I didn't record it, um, because, I mean, so pretty much, like, we still were, like, the doctor still wasn't seeing, like, any development. Um, the sac got bigger, amniotic membrane formed, but so I didn't see the baby, and, like, I was just, like, a wreck and everything, but I'm just more so, like, I'm at the point where it's, like, I'm not giving up, like, it's not over until God says this is done, until he says it's over, like, I'm going back tomorrow morning, the doctor wants me to come in, I think we're probably going to do, like, blood work, but, um, yeah, I, I'm just going with the flow, like, I'm at this point where it's like, if I'm meant to have this baby, and if this is in God's will, and if whatever he says goes and like that's where I'm at like I don't I'm not depending on a doctor and like you know what the doctor says is what God says and I, I just trust God like regardless of the outcome if whatever the outcome is I'm all for it and that's the best outcome because that's what God says and he's blessed me this far, like, <laughs> I 
I'm okay. Like, I'm okay. And I trust him. And, like, I just... I'm recording this because, like, I want him to know. Like, I'm saying it publicly. Like, I trust him. And whatever he says goes. And, like... I'm just grateful and thankful to even be, like, a child of God and to be a believer. And, like, I just have comfort in knowing that, like, I have him regardless. And I just hope I'm inspiring someone, like, just hold on to your faith. Like, it's okay. Like, it's always going to be okay. This was obviously already in the plans. Okay, like this is I supposed to go through this <laughs> and it's not done like it's not it's not over it's not done so nobody has a say no objects no crystals like no nothing like God is he's he says it he says it <laughs> like, uh, you know what I'm trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say he knows what I'm trying to say but yeah so <sighs> so no sonogram pictures today with a baby in it but I will fill you guys in on what happens next. Love you. Hi, guys. I'm trying to talk quiet because Juan is downstairs. He's in the kitchen and I'm about to take a pregnancy test and I'm like eight days late, so like, like late on my period, I know I'm pregnant, like I just know, I just know, and whew, I'm getting nervous, but if you don't know, um, this is my second pregnancy, I had a miscarriage in July, so I'm like, blue because I'm gonna surprise him um I, I'm gonna take the one that just says pregnant just to take it um so it says pregnant so I can surprise him because I got a little gift and all that so okay so I will be back okay I'm about to go take this okay y'all so <sighs> Kwan is like grilling so he's like in and out of the house but I'm trying to calm down okay of course I want to be the miscarriage um, a few months ago was like really, really hard on us, and I think about that baby every day. And so to be blessed with another baby is such a blessing, and I'm so grateful. And it's like I'm nervous, and just like I just want the confirmation because it's like I know, um, but it's But to su surprise him, I got him like some slippers because we joke how like he needs some like Devo slippers. They're just like slippers you would just see like a dad wearing. Um, I'm gonna and I got some like little baby like hand mittens. So I'm gonna put the slippers in the gift bag. I'm gonna put the pregnancy test in the or should I put it in the slipper with the mittens? I'll figure it out. But yeah, so I'm gonna like put the mittens in the slippers and the pregnancy test in the bag. I really hope you guys can see this video. Like, I really hope that you're gonna be watching this. <sighs> okay, I'm about to look. Let's look together. I'm so nervous. Last time Quan looked, I wanted to have like my makeup done and all that, but I'm like, it's okay. Okay, let's just do it. I'm really hungry, guys, so like, I want to like, 
like just let Quan know as soon as possible so I can eat. <laughs> Okay, so last week I was, I'm gonna do a whole video on how I knew I was pregnant because it was like intense. Um, not intense, my eyebrows look wild, but I'm gonna do a whole video on like my symptoms, like all that stuff. And one of the symptoms were like me getting a stuffy nose. And that's how it was last time. And that was another indicator like, okay, you're pregnant. And like he kept forcing me to take Dayquil and I, you know, I don't know if I can take that. And so um, he was like getting mad and stuff like why would you take the medicine like you want to be sick and I'm like well no and I was just like I might I was like I'm late my period's late and I don't you know I think I may be pregnant but I don't I just want to be careful and so like he wasn't like totally surprised because I told him like I don't know if you heard him but he said I told him but um yeah I'm so excited and look at the 
cute little mittens. I try to keep it like gender neutral. It's like dark gray or whatever. But... <sighs> okay, so let's get this started. I love you, baby. I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet you. This is the best day ever. All the time and worthy really to be praised. You panic for no reason. It's the rising sun, shining in the darkest.